have like 300 videos saved on my computer that I have never saved on a hard drive. So right now my computer hates me. I just bought a five terabyte hard drive, so maybe I can edit again. It would appear that I stand corrected. There actually was not 300 something videos, it was 400 something videos, which means it's even worse than I thought. I have made over 400 videos trying to become famous on YouTube, well not necessarily famous, but to try to at least make some form of success on YouTube. I have not even gotten to 3,000 subscribers. 400 videos. That's terrible. I spent a whole year going full time on YouTube, trying to create travel documentaries to try to build a following of people on YouTube and I think I finally figured it out. I made this mistake in believing that by living in a Jeep, I somehow was a more interesting person and that anything and everything I did somehow created a unique story. But there was one fatal flaw. My video sucked. See, I didn't understand that in the broad spectrum of things, people came to see a story about living in a Jeep, not to see my day-to-day -day life. And those are two different things. I got a lot of messages from people who tried to be a little bit more supportive and tell me that they enjoyed my videos because I was real in them and I didn't over exaggerate stuff. And I did try to do that. I did try to show you guys that it wasn't as easy as it seemed, but I think at one point it just started to sound like I was naggy and complainy and kind of overall just being a big baby about the whole thing. I would make videos with titles about specific topics and then in the video, I would rant about things that had nothing to do with the video. It'd be like, for example, right now with this video, with the title that it has, if I started talking about coffee or my Legos or something else that had nothing to do with the actual video. It might be something that I'm passionate about, something that's interesting, maybe even something that's interesting to most of you. But if you came to a video to see someone living in a Jeep, you don't care about what camera I'm using. If I made a video dedicated to a camera, you don't care about the Jeep. So I was wasting so much time going on full tangents. It was just a huge waste. I thought that somehow if I just kept making content that eventually there would be a big break where people would recognize me and want to subscribe more. The problem was is I kept making so many videos that were really dumb and really boring. Ever since I came to this realization, I've been going back on some of my old videos, especially some of the ones I recently made, looking over my analytics and seeing where people are actually watching, and then also go over and see where people were just completely leaving because the video just wasn't engaging enough. And I've actually cut some videos completely in half. Some of them I've cut from 17 minutes down to seven minutes. So what do you, what do you think, Kai? I'm filming on this um, PowerShot Elf 300HS. Genuinely, I found 10 minutes of talking where it had nothing to do with the actual video on hand. And I don't even know how some of you watched all of that because it was really bad. Now, I still, I still want to make videos though. It's still my passion and I want to do it right this time. I'm going to start a daily vlog again. I started a daily vlog like two years ago and I tried to be consistent with it. And this time I'm not gonna hold myself accountable too much. The goal of this daily vlog for me is not going to be filming every single day and uploading a video every day so much as trying to challenge myself to create interesting content about one specific topic throughout every single day. I'm not gonna be publishing them every single day though because if I make a video and it's not good, I'm gonna use that as a learning curve. My goal now is to go back to being a daily vlogger and try to create actual interesting content. Now the videos are mostly gonna be about my personal life but I'm gonna try to revolve it around a specific niche since I mostly do traveling and I want to be a travel vlogger. The videos are mostly gonna consist of things that I find relevant about the specific topic and then maybe I'll cram in some interesting stuff about my job since I do work with some really interesting vehicles at my specific job. And that's the end of the video.